What is up, y'all? Welcome back to another exploration adventure. Today, we are at an abandoned mansion. This place is wild. It has such unique architecture going around the property with the river running through it. And um, it's kind of all on one floor, but it does have a basement. And uh, this place is wild, guys. So, ready up, y'all. Let's go. Let's explore this place. All right, y'all. So, I made my way into the abandoned lakeside mansion here. And uh, I decided to start off on the uh, the total opposite end of uh, my buddy Phil from Dark Ramers TV is here with me and uh, Chizza Chad. Um, so I'm starting off kind of towards the master bedroom. And uh, this house has like an elongated design where it just goes all the way down this hallway, all the way down in the kitchen. And then it bends to the right. So like, I guess like an L shape, uh, which is really unique. And there's also... A little like stream running right through here that I sh that I showed on some of the clips so it's actually right here there's a stream right outside this window that goes right under the house it's pretty wild so this bathroom is pretty amazing it definitely looks like fallout it's kind of uh, ironic you got fallout right here and uh, oh someone already broke into someone smashed that lock up Got a nice hot tub. Probably like a whole, what are, the, what are these called? Like the whirlpools. Yeah, it has all the features. A huge shower. Which I think those are, are those are lights. It's got a radio in here maybe. Let's go in here. Yeah, I think it's got a radio. Some kind of controls. I guess water comes out from over here. Kind of wild. Bunch of clothes just on everywhere. Someone just went rummaging through all this. Mini CDs everywhere. Crazy. All right, let's go check out the master bedroom. Something died in here. There is definitely a dead animal in here somewhere got a his and hers closet Something died in here for sure. With the laundry room over here. Look how warped the floor got. We got some pictures of the couples right here on the bed. I don't think I want to show them, but. Beautiful. 
beautiful mirror. So got clothes in the uh, washing machine here. Definitely smells like something died in here. Like they have an attic up there. I don't know if I'm gonna go up there, but tons of pictures on the floor. They had a golden retriever. They looks like they had a couple dogs, maybe. I think something died in here. There was also a uh, right on the fence over here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me turn off the light real quick. But a deer tried hopping that fence right there and the deer is hanging on the fence. It looks like it broke its leg trying to hop it. And it's just hanging there. It's really sketchy. But, yeah, this is Chris from Realm Explorer. Right there. What up, y'all? Well, here's a massive bedroom, guys. Look at this place. Damn. Oh, stinks in here. It does, man. Something definitely died in here. These people love dogs, man. They got pictures of dogs. They got books, tons of books, walking in circles. Well, I don't know what that book's about, but it's a dog on it. Damn. They got tons of photos. I'm not going to really show the photos. But it really stinks in here like something died. Yeah. Oh, here's the laundry room. That's kind of unique. I wonder what you'd have there. Tons of clothes, just these people had so much clothes. It's crazy. Cautions, dog can't hold its liquor. These people love dogs. I mean, I love dogs. Look, another dog book, another dog book. I wonder if they had a business. Uh, maybe training dogs or doing something with, with animals. They liked Oprah. People definitely liked animals. <laughs> kind of funny. I just can only imagine what you would find in some of these clothing. Maybe some of these pockets. But. Oh, does this open up? What the heck? Is, you know, this table. This table right here. Is a giant book. I don't know if you guys can tell. But this is definitely. It's a book. I wonder if it keeps opening up. But it, that's it. So I guess this part comes off, but 
this is the shape of a book. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's supposed to look like a book. That's really cool. See this side here? Right? Am I crazy? Oh, wait. That's really cool. I wonder if you could, like, restore this. I don't know what that says, but maybe that's the person who made it. But. So I'm guessing this side opens. Or this draw was in here. That probably was it. This was probably this draw right here. Yeah. That's cool. I've never seen that before. Check out this room here. It's another bathroom. So much clothing. Just razors left. Sitting out. What the? Someone wear a wig? Now for maybe the coolest part of the house. That out. The ceiling is all mirrors too, which is like the first I think I've ever seen is mirrors. Check out this thing. This looks like something like for your cats, make them feel like they're wild or something. That's kind of cool. My cat would like that. These people are definitely animal lovers. Another dog book right there. Can you blame them? Well, I can't show that because, uh, yeah, definitely can't show that. But I promise you, uh, Promise you, I can't show you that on YouTube. Here, Phil, you want to see this? <laughs> Just a little uh, pornography. I wish I could show you guys, but hey, can't. These people loved animals. I know. Pretty amazing house they have. Tons of books. I know some of you guys are interested in what kind type of books people have, so I'll show you guys these quick. There's books everywhere. It's crazy. I love the artwork, dude. Yeah. Did you see that table that's shaped as a book? Where? So in that room, not the first right, the second right, there's a big coffee table in the middle. It's in the shape of books, and you can open up the drawers on the binding sides. So these people are obsessed with books. A little bar here. I know, like, just tons of books about animals, about dogs particularly. 
I mean, check out this bar right here. I'm gonna step back real quick. Check out this bar. These retro looking seats. Let's see what's behind it. You got a safe right here. Check this out. Bunch of stuff underneath too, but let's check this out. Oh, it opens. Oh, it's a fridge, clickbait. I should have known that. That's too, uh, that was too good to be true. What's this? What this? Dog Carl is everywhere. Kind of digging this stuff over here though. I think this is supposed to be evil eyes. I could be wrong though, but I think this represents um, evil eyes. I could be totally wrong though, please uh, correct me. I think those are evil eyes, but. And here is, turn off this light. Yeah, here's the uh, little stream that goes right under their house. So that's probably why. I don't think they have a basement. They do have a little basement, but it's really, it's nothing. So I went down there and I'm like, all right. I mean, I'll, I'll show you. I'll give you guys a quick peek of it, but it's really nothing. And that's that whole hallway with the master bedroom. This thing's all overgrown. It goes all the way down to that bathroom at the very end. Pretty wild. And here's another piece of artwork. I might be totally wrong about the evil eye thing, but they kind of look it to me. For you cat people. Here you go. I know some of y'all love black cats. A nice stone fireplace. And uh, this is kind of the entrance area right here. Nothing too special. Kind of a nice door though, but let me show you guys the rest of the living room here and then the kitchen and quickly the basement and the garage and that's really it for this place. show you guys the rest of this living room here. I found something too that I want to show you guys. Beautiful fireplace. Huge TV. Really a cool layout. I like these one floor houses. I don't like multiple floor homes. Oh man, this is an old projector TV. Let me see if I can get you guys in there. Through the cobwebs. There it is guys.
Get all the cobwebs off the camera. But very unique style house. I love it. Let me show you guys this piece of art that I found. It was kind of just laying on the floor. But I think it's very interesting. Check this out. It's like almost 3D. I'm going to turn off this light quick. Hopefully you can still see it. But no, all right, so let me put the light on a little bit lower. Yeah, check this out, it's so weird. And it's heavy, it's all like metal or copper or something. It's, it's legit. All right, let me show you guys the kitchen. It is pouring outside. I love this thing. I wish I could take this with me. Give him a boop. Boop. In the kitchen. It's raining out there, Phil. Yeah. More cat statues. We drove a long way, guys, for this one. Yeah. The wine cooler here. Evaporated milk. I don't want to reveal any names, so I'm not going to show anything here. Uh, sorry, guys, but we try to not give away locations. This has, it has an electric uh, stove here. So I kind of want to open up this fridge, but I kind of don't. Oh, man. All right, take a look. Hold on my breath. Damn, that stinks. Some cornbread mix. show you quickly so this is the basement I mean these stairs are gone um, I hop down here and there's there's really there's nothing down there um, but you know for you guys I'll go but I promise you there's nothing That's it. I mean, another huge TV. Imagine carrying this TV down into this basement. Like, who has that job? Who's the one that's like, all right, we got to put the basement in the, we got to put the TV in the basement. All right, who's going to do it? Yeah, that, that sucks. But that's it. Oh, I guess there's a, a, a weightlifting bench right here too. That's kind of cool. So, all right. Let me show you guys the uh, garage, I think it is, or like, or maybe it's just a shed of some sort, but be sure to check out Darker Image TV and Chizza Chad somewhere down there too, so check them out. Yo, someone carried a projection TV like the size of that down here. That's all it's done? That's pretty, and a weightlifting bench, that's it. Imagine having to be stuck with that, like, hey, who's going to do it? Like... That would suck. 
So, uh, alright guys, let me uh, show you the back here. It's pouring out, so this is what you're going to get. Got a whole pond, or a, I don't know, I think it's a pond. I don't know if it's a pool. It could be a pool. It's probably a pool that looks like a pond now. And there's a huge lake right on the other side of this. So, all right, you know what I'm going to do? Because you guys are the best, is I'm going to go out here quick. And we're going to go... I don't think any neighbors are going to bother us saying that it's pouring. I wonder if that's like an outside chimney or something like that. Let me, get, let me know, guys. I mean, there's another dollar in here. Too. But, yeah, it's an outside chimney, which is really cool. Imagine it's chilling right here. Maybe it's a little cold out. You got a chimney. Be warm by it. You got this. We got another house right there. We got this beautiful stream right here. And how awesome. So, alright, let me take you in here. See what's inside here. Tons of video games I'm seeing. So maybe this was an area where the kids played. Tons of games. Horror movies. Uh, oh, okay, so maybe this was like a gaming setup, a game room or or something, which I'm down for. That's awesome. This is actually a really nice rocking chair. What's in here? Yahtzee, Clue, the Classics. Check out that chair, guys. Here. That's awesome. Oh, another one right there. I would, God, I would love just to take these, but it ain't happen. It ain't happen. I would love these chairs. And I always ask you guys, like, hey, what's your favorite part of the, of the places we go to? Usually, I get, I, if I remember, I ask you guys, let me know what your favorite item. Yeah, let me know what your favorite item in this mansion that you would want to have, whether it's a piece of artwork, whether it's even if it's like an aesthetic to the house. For me, I'll take these two rocking chairs and uh, that's probably it. I think I'd be happy. You gotta be happy with the two rocking chairs. Tons of games for the Wii, so I can't be this. This couldn't have been abandoned that long ago because I can't remember how long ago the Wii came out. But I mean, what, like twelve years ago, maybe? What is this? Old boots. A lot of horror movies. A lot of video games. A lot of dogs. Fight night. Jeff Dunham. Yeah, TV mounted right here. This must have been a cool spot to hang out. Look at all these games, movies. The Exorcism. These people like scary movies. And I know you guys do too, as do I. Tons of them. One Missed Call, Fear X. Uh, there's so many. I don't know what that is. 
the bone snatcher. Madagascar. Like, dang. All right, well, uh, I think, what's this? Oh, okay, so they cut the gas line and the water's off, okay. Well, all right, y'all, that is gonna do it for this video. We drove a long way for this one. We are on a road trip, so we're hitting up a bunch of spots around here, so, um, Please check out uh, Darker Image TV, my buddy Phil, and uh, Chizza Chad. Maybe I missed something that they found. Maybe they have a different perspective that, you know, maybe that, that you like. You know, maybe they saw something, maybe gave a little insight on it that they know that I didn't. So it's really cool when you do a collab. Every time I see the other guys' videos, there's always something I missed. So give them, out, uh, give them a shout out. Let them know that I sent you. And uh, I don't know, y'all. So uh, let me know what you thought of this place. And... I don't know. I thought this place was awesome. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.